Ladies and gentlemen, I have made videos about this subject before, but apparently not everyone is paying attention. So here we are. One of the things that some people often misquote me as saying or encouraging people to do, and according to them contributing to the downfall of both ham radio and GMRS, is that I encourage people to use unlocked or illegal radios to transmit on any frequency they want, whenever they want, and all they have to do is invoke the term emergency use. And this is exactly why you should never pay attention to some people in online forums or on YouTube comments because they are idiots. Allow me to elaborate. First of all, I have never, not once, encouraged anyone to break any laws or even any FCC rules. But allow me to expound on why some people, especially those with lower than average IQs, might repeat these salacious lies about me anyway. What I have discussed in several videos are FCC rules 97403 and 97405 paragraph A. And allow me to make this very clear, so clear that even some people can understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. I am not a lawyer. However, I do have a decent grasp of the English language. And these two rules, rules and not laws, these two rules basically say that none of the other FCC's rules can prevent a person from using any means of radio communication for protecting life or property or to get help when in distress to obtain assistance. When normal communications are not available. I interpret these words to mean, and remember, I am not a lawyer, but I take this to mean that in an actual emergency, such as being lost or maybe trapped in your home with an approaching wildfire, or maybe if you have a medical emergency that requires life or death assistance, and there is no other means of communication, then if you had a ham radio, but no ham radio license, or a two-way radio that was illegally unlocked to transmit on any frequency, you could use either of those radios to get the immediate help required to protect someone's property or life if no other means of communication were available. Does this mean that when you are out camping and you run out of beer, that you can use whatever radio you want to transmit on whatever frequency you want to call your friends and tell them to stop at the Quickie Mart for more beer and beef sticks? Probably not. Does this mean that during a wildfire, you can use whatever radio you want and talk on whatever frequency you want to try and direct the water-dropping helicopters to where you think they need to go? I do not think so. But what about the other kind of emergency, the shit-hit-the-fan type emergency? Again, allow me to be clear. I am not a lawyer. But it seems to me that after a hurricane or in a post-earthquake type situation, the same two FCC rules apply. If you need immediate help to protect life or property, you can use any two-way radio without a license to call for help to protect said life or property if there are no other means of communication available. Using any radio without a license to chit-chat with your friends or to stay in touch with your family would fall afoul of these FCC's rules because that is not getting help to protect life or property. But what about in a true, full-on, shit-hit-the-fan type situation? And by that, I mean post-apocalyptic road warriors, zombies roaming the streets, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria type situation. And ladies and gentlemen, I truly believe that when I discuss this type of situation, that the low IQ crowd gets confused and begins dreaming up new lies because it is preparing for this type of situation that I have referred to in previous videos when talking about unlocked radios. And the plain truth is, in a situation such as I have just described, the rules 
no longer matter. There will be no FCC agents and there will be no police because they will all be out scavenging the streets for toilet paper, just like everyone else. And it is only in these type of extreme cases, which are kind of rare, only then can you do whatever you want with your radio, because as I just mentioned, it's road warrior rules at that point, and only the strong survive or have toilet paper. And anyone arguing otherwise is either an idiot or a radio Karen, or more likely, both. Ladies and gentlemen, the mere fact that I have just discussed this subject will no doubt prompt some people, particularly those possessing below-average IQs, as I alluded to earlier, to spread even more lies proclaiming that I encourage people to violate FCC's rules. Rules, not laws, and that I, the queen of all that is GMRS, am single-handedly responsible for the downfall of both ham radio and GMRS radio. And although I am flattered that these low IQ types attribute that much power to me, they will no doubt continue to spread more falsehoods, claiming that I encourage people to break the rules by merely talking about these facts. However, the real fact of the matter is, is that suppressing the truth from people is not going to control them. <laughs> 